To defeat a fire type Pokemon, we can use a water type, but to put out fires in real life, what can we use other than water? Well, in this video, we're going to talk about fire extinguishing balls that look like poke balls and explain how we can tame the rolling flames just by throwing balls at them. So fire extinguishing balls aren't actually something new, but rather evolved from fire grenades back in the 19th century. In the past, they were just glass orbs filled with salt water or a colorless liquid known as carbon tetrachloride. But because the chemical was toxic and shattering glass could be dangerous, they were slowly phased out until we have them more than once using dry powder contained in plastic foams. Similar to carbon tetrachloride, dry powder puts out fire by coating the surface of the burning objects and cuts off the oxygen supply in the fire triangle. When the fire extinguishing ball is thrown into the fire, what happens is the fire will burn through the shrink wrap and trigger the fuse underneath. As the fuse burns to the core and the detonator explodes, the styrofoam casing will then break open and release the dry powder inside. Now the funny thing about this invention is that we first create an explosion before we put out the fire. Inside a detonator is magnesium or aluminium powder that is flammable and explosive, but outside we have dry powder which is chemically monoammonium phosphate. Known as ABC powder, this chemical can put out fire of class A, B and C in the American classification system. Although it may seem dangerous to use this firefighting ball that will just explode, what you should know is that it is far from explosive like frag grenade because the material is soft and lightweight and cannot cause any safety hazard such as shrapnel or flying debris. Even if you hold it close to you, the explosion still can create any shockwave strong enough to hurt you. That is why fire extinguishing balls should be very safe to use. But how effective are they? According to the manufacturers, the fire extinguishing balls can activate in as short as 3 seconds and can cover a surface area of up to 10 meters square. Although they can definitely put out small campfires, as was inside tested out on their channel, a demonstration done by the Discovery Channel suggests that the fire extinguishing balls may not be as effective when facing against larger fires inside a building. Although a research done by the group of scholars also achieved a similar result, the firefighters who participated in the experiment said that throwing larger balls in batches might be more effective. Similar to catching Pokemon, the way you throw the balls could also matter because of the elevation. This leads to the proposal that drones can carry these fire extinguishing balls to help control the spread of wildfires. Although I can't experiment with it in this video because I live in a densely populated city, I hope you had fun learning about this pokeball that can fight fires, or at least next time you have a general review party, remember to bring it with you.